Hello everyone, my name is Carl Erwin Sukim and in this video, I will talk a little bit about the ICRC in Malaysia. In Asia and the Pacific, the ICRC and the Red Cross and Red Crescent societies are helping families to restore contact when they become separated by war, disaster or migration. The ICRC has been in Malaysia since 1972. The ICRC established the Kuala Lumpur Regional Delegation in 2001, overseeing activities in three countries, namely Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei. The ICRC works with governments and national societies in order to promote the international humanitarian law and its principles and to gain support for the Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement's activities. Let's look at the ICRC in Malaysia. The ICRC's Kuala Lumpur delegation maintains a dialogue with national and regional bodies on humanitarian issues, the international humanitarian law, and the mandate and role of the ICRC. It also helped the Malaysian authorities meet the humanitarian needs of detainees. For example, ICRC also visits detainees, works with the authorities to address issues identified during visits and helps detained migrants to contact their families. ICRC also works with the Malaysian Red Crescent Society, MRCAs, in favor of vulnerable communities in the field of health. And ICRC in Malaysia also works to promote international humanitarian law as its core of its work. What are the action and results of the ICRC's initiatives. The ICRC pursued initiatives to broaden awareness of and support for humanitarian principles and the IHL. Now let's look at ICRC's actions and results. The ICRC pursued initiatives to increase awareness of and support for humanitarian principles international humanitarian law and the movement among influential parties throughout the region. ICRC address humanitarian issues concerning detainees, members of dispersed families, and particularly vulnerable people in Sabah. As a result of ICRC's initiatives, school children and residents in remote rural areas of Sabah learn more about good health and hygiene practices. The ICRC also provides technical guidance for the Malaysia and Singapore government in their effort to ratify or implementing the Arms Trade Treaty and the Convention on Cluster Munitions and also other international humanitarian law related treaties. Not only that, as a result of the ICRC's initiatives, university students has also refined their understanding of IHL in lectures and competitions. The ICRC also continues to visit detainees held in prisons and immigration detention centers in Malaysia, including in Sabah. Members of families dispersed by migration or detention restore or maintain contact people throughout Malaysia use the movement's family links services to keep in touch with relatives separated from them. ICRC is also working with the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement. It maintained a close cooperation with the International Federation of the Red Cross and together with the Sabah branch of the Malaysian Red Crescent Society, the ICRC regularly conduct first aid training sessions ICRC cooperated with the Malaysian Red Crescent Society, MRCS, the Singapore Red Cross, SRC, and the Brunei Darussalam Red Crescent Society, BDRCAs. ICRC co-organized with the SRC and IFRC several workshops for humanitarian professionals from Singapore and throughout the Southeast Asian region. What about the ICRC's activity in Sabah? 
as a means to promote international humanitarian law, the ICRC is working together with the International Relations Program in the Faculty of Humanities, Arts and Heritage in University Malaysia Sabah to ensure that the students or the members of the public in general understand what international humanitarian law is all about. UMS is one of several universities to offer international humanitarian law as a subject in its curriculum. ICRC also work in detention setting in Sabah. ICRC officers visits people deprived of liberty in prisons and immigration detention centers. ICRC seeks to develop bilateral and confidential dialogue with the authorities. ICRC in Sabah also conducts basic first aid training and health awareness activities. ICRC shares knowledge about basic first aid with communities with limited access to health care. These skills help the villagers respond effectively to emergencies till necessary medical support arrives. Not only that, the ICRC also provides health and hygiene awareness for school children. They provide health and hygiene awareness sessions to primary school children across Sabah. This leads to an improved understanding of daily hygiene conditions in order to prevent the spread of preventable diseases. In conclusion, ICRC in Malaysia conducts activities to further strengthen the capacity of the Malaysian National Red Crescent Society in the practice of humanitarian work in times of emergencies and natural disasters. And the ICRC in Malaysia also works to promote the international humanitarian law in partnership with several partners, including government institutions, universities, private sectors, and also civil societies. Thank you very much, and I hope you have learned something valuable from this video, and I will see you in the next videos. Thank you.